I just, um, can I just, can I just start? I just got to say some things. Um, just as the as a ball club uh, right now is, um, we just want to um, obviously pay a little respects to Ralph Keats's family and Eric Lowe's um, who have passed away um, ever since we've been away. Um, uh, just want to um, re, um, you know. Um, you know, just remember them in their um, proud Elora people, and um, I just feel that um, we need we need to just give them a shout out that way. Um, second thing is uh, just a congratulations to Chris Goulding for his thousandth three pointer, which is um, which is unbelievable, and um, you know he's one of the reasons why um, the league is moving forward, and obviously uh, Larry and his thousandth, thousandth game today. So. Um, you know, um, just, um, yeah, just wanted to say that um, from the club, like as a spokesman from the club uh, before we started this one. Appreciate that. Jacob, that said, how do you turn your heaviest loss of the season into your best win of the season in eight days? What worked for you? Oh, I mean, um, obviously um, uh, having a full deck of cards um, with in regard to uh, player personnel does help. Uh, Mike came off the plane, and um, and um, you know, um, you know, in the last game. Not saying that we go there next week. They are a tough opposition, and that's not the only reason. Um, you know, I'm, and I've been saying it for a long period of time. We're just sort of, I'm lucky with the guys that we have in the room. You know, what I mean, obviously they're they're good human beings, and uh, they're putting in the work. And um, I'm just really happy for them that they can get a little bit rewarded tonight. But obviously, as much as we'll celebrate that today, is we need to we need to make sure we keep moving forward and um, you know just uh, keep doing it for um, for our fans and ourselves. You know, pl playing like that. And if the results come our way, they c they come our way. And if they don't, we just want to hold our heads up proud every game. Ninety-three points, nearly fifty-five percent. Why did the offense play so well today? Um. I mean, we've had a bit, little bit of practice time. And again, um, when we had the practice time against Sydney with the guys on the floor, we looked a little bit better. Um, you know, um, they're, they're just, um, it was a really good effort today in regard to everyone knowing their role. And then obviously, um, you know, um, Sammy had a hell of a game, and, um, which I'm happy about for him uh, because he does put that work in. But, um, you know, we've, it just everything was clicking today and, and we took advantage of, of that today. You know, um, and I thought that when they did make their runs, um, Tucker was really good today, um, that um, we, we handled them a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, every team in the league, if they don't have their main guys, and I, and, I, and I say this really carefully right now, is a full deck of cards, if we've got a flush on the table and we don't have a coin, we don't work. You know what I mean? But we still have a king, an ace, a jack, and a ten. Pretty good gambler, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I, did I do something? Oh, you don't have one more. But anyway. Um, but look, I mean, again, it's no disrespect to the guys who are here. Obviously, um, you know, one of the reasons why um, why it was so exciting to do this job was because of Sam and Tyler. And then obviously the first recruit was Wani and then Dan, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, um, but it's not to say is this league is brutal and it's not to say is just because now we, we have uh, three Americans, it's going to turn around for us. We actually had to play a very good and a very desperate um, ball club today and, um, and we had to do everything correctly. Um, and that's going to go on in, in forever in this league. Is it's not, it's not a, it's it's not just now putting some pieces, but that does help. Yeah, yeah, I'm hoping so is. And then, um, 
I mean, um, we did have to get the best player possible and it wasn't in our plans um, when we first uh, to get um, a player like him. But I mean, I, I'm definitely ecstatic that it's, it's, um, it's, you know, it's, it's laid out there for us and to have him because we are able to use him in different ways. And, um, and um, you know, credit to the guys for figuring that out. Um, yeah, nice and nice and quickly and credit to him for slipping like you know he hasn't been here that long and um and um you know credit to all of them for figuring it out yeah it was a little bit of that um as jake said we were we had to be desperate tonight and felt like i put a bit of that on on my shoulders and then uh you know, so two free throws go down, two three balls go down. You start to feel pretty good about yourself and start the game like that um, was good. But, I mean, I think contributions from everyone tonight was massive. Like, Dang had a, a probably one of his best games of the season. You know, Mike slots in and he does so much for us. And then even, like, you look at Wani, nothing on the stat sheet but a plus 17. So, like, I think it's... You know, it's, it's a credit to our group and the fight that we showed tonight, um, and we're going to keep building on it. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I've always had confidence in myself, but um, I mean, this is this is a a new position for me as a, you know, as a leader of the group and I'm still learning and uh, still building and I still want to get better as a basketball player as well. Um, so in that regard, yeah, like a little bit, but at the end of the day when we're on the court, I back myself and I feel pretty good and I know that we have such a good group of guys that they don't make it very hard to lead at all. You know, you say one thing to them and they listen and then they can reciprocate and say something back. You see. The only disappointing thing tonight probably is Sanchez. You had an excellent game. He's fouling out, I assume. How did you assess that? No, I mean, it happens. It's, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, can't, I can't control that. That's, you know, whether I agree or not, I, there's probably a few in there that, I, you know, I mean, I don't agree with any foul I get, but I think that's any basketballer. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, I, I got fouled out and guys stepped up and our lead ended up, ended up extending and we got the win, so it doesn't matter. Finally, Jacob, um, the only concern is uh, Mark. He did seem to go down, he came off, but he went back on. What's the situation on him? Number two, thanks. Yeah. Um... He got hit in the ball. <laughs> He'll be all right. <laughs> he got hit in the ball. He's right. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not checking him out. But yeah, he, that's what happened. So we get into the whole period. You want the crowd to get bigger and better and provide an atmosphere like we had there today. Fantastic for Monday night. Uh, so what's the team looking to achieve this season? From here, what what are the goals from here? They're going to bring fans out to follow the horses. Well, I mean. Um, if you whatever your record is, you've got to take one game at a time, and that's that's what we'll do. Is and what we're trying to do is is perform like that um, every game. And then with any team in the league right now is is you're just trying to play a certain way, and then um, what should lead you know you fill your goals and it should lead to to wins or some of the close losses that we've had. But, um, you know, I mean, is I thought the crowd um, for a Monday night, and I know there's been a lot of talk about our Monday night games, I thought the fans that were here were great. Um, I, I mean, it felt like it was a full house out there. Um, I was glad that we were able to give them something to, um, to watch. But, again, is with it all, is, is we, we got some certain guys that didn't play today, which is exciting that, you know, they'll come in and start to fight a little bit for minutes. And, um, you know... Um, you know, I just think if we can if we can build on this, and the challenge will be is we've got to play two good games in a row. You know, what I mean, which we haven't um, done yet. Coming into our next home game, I think we go to the next one, Sydney. I'm pretty sure. Um, you know, they they'll see a little bit of Greta as well. I've heard. Yeah, so that's sick. Oh, so yeah. Greta will be back, and uh, which we're all excited about. And hopefully, we you know, regardless of what the results are, we're, we keep building the way we're building with a full deck. 
Yeah, I think that's with everyone um, in the room, like even Sa Sammy dealing with Sammy Singh's Tyler, but I mean, let's put some focus on Davo. Um, you know, he's been, he's been great at practice and, um, you know, a lot of times when you sit in a, a you know, just think was, we were rolling fine, we'd probably, you know, it probably take him a little bit longer to get him out there. But um, you know, um, he's a, he's he's been a talented player for a long period of time. It's just trying to find where he fits right now, and um, you know, it's it's early days with him, but it, it is exciting as Lockie making his run as Madronia. You know, we do have that exciting group, and um, and but I do think you're correct. Is if probably we we were you know, with a full deck is, and that's every team in the league, he, he would struggle, he would struggle in, but it's been, it's been really good for us. Chris? Is it the... Chris? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Good. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, guys.